Welcome to our estate sale this week. This week we are in Northeast Oklahoma City, directly behind Frontier City, and we're in a really cool house. The house is 4,500 square foot, lots of nooks and crannies, lots of really wonderful decor, fun stuff, artistic stuff. So I'm going to take you on a tour. We're going to start in one of the downstairs living areas, and we've got this uh, little red the leather chair. We have lots of original art. We have two of these antique um, amois. We have an office chair, some more art. There's some modern art, some Santa Fe art. Very, very wide variety of art. We've got this really adorable drop uh, leaf antique table. It folds up and actually makes kind of a clover leaf pattern. We have antique rugs. Uh, we have this little sofa here. We have this 1920s cedar chest. We have lots and lots and lots of miscellaneous glassware and dishes and collectibles. Um, in the entry, we've got this wonderful antique uh, grandfather clock. It has the tubular chimes. Uh, I believe it is a seven tube one. We also have this 1920s uh, drop front secretary with the linen fold and inlay. Just really a, an exceptional piece. Uh, we've got lots of art class that's built in in the dining area. We have a wonderful Art Deco uh, dining room set. Has the buffet that matches. We have the table and it is the original Art Deco table underneath with the kind of the curved base. They put a glass top to make it a little bit larger to seat more people and put contemporary chairs with it. Then we also have the matching display cabinet that also has the curved feet. It was really cool, really fun. Also in here we have some more signed art glass. We have Francoma Pumas or Leopards. We also have the uh, lots of Vaseline glass. We've got more original art. Lots and lots and lots of 30s to 50s collectibles. We have Fiesta, we have Blu-ray, we have, uh, we also have some, um, sorry, uh, we also have some Bauer, uh, Universal, we have a Hall, I mean lots of variety. On the buffet we have a gorgeous silver plate tea set, we have some hand cut crystal, we have lots of weighted sterling, and then we also have lots of silver plate. On the table we have some Fitz and Floyd, we also have lots of depression glass, and also on the table we've got um, see depression glass and I guess that's it. Okay, in the kitchen we are absolutely packed. It's amazing how much stuff we have in the kitchen. We have vintage mixers, all sorts of fun uh, collectibles, lots of 80s and 90s uh, dishware sets which we don't normally find a lot of which is really kind of, it's kind of fun. We've got uh, these five modern bar stools. There's three red, two black. You can actually mix them together and do a red and black effect. All this uh, vintage crystal. And like I said, all sorts of really fun kind of kitchen wares, bar wear. Um, just really fun, super fun stuff. Some Pyrex, some um, corning wear. Then, living area, kind of at the far end, you can see we have really large picture and another armoire. And over here we have another, so one of our smaller hand tied rugs. We have a dresser, this would be great for refinishing or painting. We have a pair of bar stools. And the living area, another great hand tied rug. We have a throne chair. We have one of those inlaid marble tables stunning uh, antique vanity or dressing table and we also have this this is Thomasville it's a Thomasville dressing mirror then we have a vintage or we have an Art Nouveau bronze uh, on the pedestal we also have another bronze I'll show you in a little bit we have this other really large hand tied rug a gorgeous modern leather sectional we've got uh, this end table we've got a kind of a 1950s Victorian marble top coffee table, an antique carved chair, little marble top table, and then we have the sofa table at the end with the modern art and or some 
art and some other really kind of fun stuff on it. Outside, there's lots of great patio furniture and a pool. It's a gorgeous property if you want to come just to take a look at the property. It's kind of set on acreage with a raised pool, so it's really cool. We have a second uh, bronze. This one is uh, the bronze for the Rolls-Royce hood ornament and another pedestal. Let's see. And one of the downstairs rooms, we have this antique oak Hoosier cabinet base. We have a carved whitewashed mirror. We have lots of vintage records. Uh, some more art. We have a little red iron corner plant stand. We have this oak um, hutch and we have a contemporary office desk. Also camera equipment. We have several quilts. We got this gorgeous white mink coat. I mean it is absolutely stunning and flawless. We have tons of jewelry and jewelry making supplies. She made jewelry as a hobby. So we have lots of jewelry that she made plus lots of stuff that she bought. We've got linens and quilts like I said. We've got this bookcase and DVD, CDs, VHS, books, all sorts of fun stuff. Now we're going to pop out into the garage before we go upstairs. Right, in the garage we've got lots of your typical garage decor. We have little uh, pet crates and pet kennels, uh, pet carriers. We've got some of these big white folding tables that we're selling. We have a roto zip. We have some tools, some yard tools, some hand tools. We've got a weed eater, a compressor. Uh, We've got this big yellow scaffolding. We have a little generator. We've got the power washer that we're selling and also this nice dolly. We also have this uh, rack that's made for golf clubs. You just put your golf clubs on it and it keeps them from tipping over and getting in your way. In the next garage, that was the first two cars, we have another one. We have all sorts of Christmas stuff, lots of candles, lots of really cool Christmas decor, golf bags. Uh, so all the Christmas stuff is really nice. Almost all of it's brand new. We have lots of these little sorters that she used when she made all the jewelry. We also have little, little jewelry making tools over there and beads and kind of some display, displays and stuff for it. And some storage containers. And now we're going to run upstairs. So... Upstairs, we've got lots of women's clothes. They are larger sizes. We also have this little antique uh, desk. We have a really wonderful 30s, 40s club chair. We've got some women's clothing in this closet. And then there's an entire room full of clothes in the next room. We've got a Maytag Neptune dryer and also a LG front loader washer. And then in the game room, we've got Harman Kardon, Harman Kardon Pioneer Yamaha systems. We also have some Sony electronics. We have all sorts of kind of fun tchotchkes and some surround sound and some subwoofer speakers. Cute little chest. We have this pretty good sized jewelry rug. A lot of people are now using these for upholstery and this is really clean. This would be kind of a fun piece. Kind of unusual colors. We have a really nice treadmill and some miscellaneous stuff over here. Kind of last on the tour is the closet. So we're going to go through the bathroom. We're going to sell this uh, really nice little ottoman that's you know they used in the dressing room. There's mostly women's, just a tiny little bit of men's clothes. And all the women's clothes are really nice, really high-end. I mean, she really had some pretty good taste on it when it comes to the ladies' clothing. And that's going to wrap up the short tour. We certainly hope to see you this weekend. It's a really, like I said, it's a 4,400 square foot house. Lots of nice, cool, fun, artsy type stuff. So we'd certainly love to see you here if you get a chance. Bye-bye.